Hello everybody, I'm going to do a little pattern test, well, I'm going to do two actually, Doing one on the white gold, one of my favourite cartridges, one of the all time greats, won many many championships with this as George Digweed, and George never, he doesn't use anything else, and it's a favourite of mine as well, I've started using this more and more, and I'm going to compare this with the blue diamond, but this is an eight, and uh, I, I find it very hard hitting and very reliable. And it is one of my favourite uh, cartridges now. Uh, that's smack on 40 yards now. So many people will recognise this that watch the testing films that this is one of our testing areas, so they'll know that we are at 40 yards here. That's the blue diamond we've just been talking about, the number eight shot, 28 gram eight. I'm putting it through three quarter choke. That's my normal chokes where I use mainly, well, 99% of my target shooting and 95% uh, of my game shooting is done with three quarter, three quarter choke. Uh, Teague chokes that is. <clears throat> and I'm shooting it through the new crown which is a beautiful looking gun. And that's a that's a pretty even pattern is that. And as I say, most of my pattern, two thirds of the pattern will, will, will be in this sort of area, which is what I'm looking for. And um, there's, if you look at the, the, the centre of the pattern, there's, there's at least 15 to 20 pellets in that uh, circle, the inner circle, so there ain't many clays going to get through that. Where the biggest concentration is uh, in that, uh, that inner circle, I don't think a clay get through that anyway. And, and there's a, if you did a rough circle here, <clears throat> that's a hell of a killing pattern but if you look at that it's absolutely flattened it at 40 yard so you only want one or two pellets will break that clay but as you can see with the at the back of the uh, the pattern plate you're going to get three or four of those on the clay and if it's edge on if it's an edge on clay it will it's got enough power in that pellet to break it so quite happy with that. Right, I'm going to do <coughs> the seven and a half white gold. That's next on the uh, on the pattern plate. Once again, there's plenty of pellets in the right quarters. Still, I've pulled it right a little bit here. Um, it must be a fault of mine. I usually do it. I've pulled it right again and there's more pellets in this section here <coughs> but each section's got enough pellets in it without counting them it looks like between 15 and 20 in each little section here and um, and same in the central section not so much below because I've got it a bit higher here as you can see it's a good even pattern at the back it's e always easy to see it at the back you can see the uh, the pellets smoking away there. I don't think there's any, any clay will get through that. It'll only get through that if you put, it, put the gun in the wrong place. So that's a white gold seven and a half. One of my good cartridges for long range targets. So it's a good combination on any clay round. You will come across such a variation of targets on a hundred vert sporting, and especially in Fitias, you you know you're coming across targets that's beyond 40, 50 yard. So it's always best to be prepared with something that's going to break them, that can break them. 